Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Gaming with me, Tony Mo, and we're going to talk about patch 1.1, update 1.1, one more time today before it goes live on Tuesday. I promise you guys this is the last time Ubisoft just keeps releasing really important information that we definitely need to talk about. And yesterday we saw probably one of the most important pieces of information that they have talked about since the reveal of update 1.1. I don't know why they didn't just tie this into patch notes for 1.1, but I don't care because it's amazing and it's going to completely alter the way that we play the division. So Ubisoft came out and they wanted to clarify some things about the state of crafting. A lot of people were really concerned. And then they dropped this bomb. From here on out, we'll start with this. Killing a named NPC will grant you a guaranteed high end drop. Yep, I said that, right? Any named NPC level 30 plus will grant you a guaranteed high end drop. Now, of course, gear score is going to become relevant with 1.1, and the gear score of those high-end drops will be determined by the level of the NPC. So, for example, if you kill a level 30 named NPC in the Dark Zone, you're guaranteed to get an item with a gear score of 163, and so on and so forth. Level 30 will, 31 will drop something higher, level 32 will drop something higher. Right now, as it currently stands, Ubisoft was nice enough to give us a graph to illustrate the current sources of high-end item level 31 gear at the top of that list is construction crafting it sits at over 45 percent purchases from vendors is just under 30 and on the bottom of the chart where it definitely shouldn't be is npc kills just over 20 percent they want to restructure this graph essentially this is a game about loot it shouldn't be a game about crafting blueprints over and over crafting should be an alternative and that's exactly what they're looking to do with this update you're going to be able to gather all of that wonderful high-end gear now it's actually going to drop off of things that you kill. You know, you're actually going to go into the dark zone with your friends. You're going to you're going to take on a really difficult firefight in something like the pit and drop a level 32 boss and you're actually going to get loot from it on a regular basis. How wonderful is that? Considering this is a game about loot, not a game about crafting. Now, they're not trying to annihilate crafting as they said. There's still going to be plenty of reasons to craft those blueprints. Maybe you want a specific weapon and you want it right now. You don't want to sit around waiting for it to drop. You can still do that, you know, but crafting, it's just going to be the alternative. It's simple as that. It doesn't need to be at the forefront of how we obtain our gear. It's going to make for a much more satisfying experience, whether you're in the dark zone or running challenge mode or your hard mode dailies or the incursion or any of the new assignments that we're going to see in 1.1. This is going to help essentially reshape the way we play the division the way that loot is handled in the division there's nothing but big smiles and thumbs ups from me regarding this i cannot wait to play come tuesday with 1.1 it's going to be so glorious to actually go into the dz to hunt down some of those named npcs that we've always killed and actually see them drop some loot that can actually progress my character and of course this is going to mean that this ridiculous sort of graph that we have right now as it currently exists it's more of a line and then a sharp jump if you hit level 50 in the dark zone it's gonna be much more gradual we're actually gonna be leveling up and obtaining gear as we fight through the different areas of the dark zone increasing our gear score becoming more effective all the way up to the new gear in the gear sets which will sit as at gear score possibly 204 plus you know this is gonna be super exciting i'm really looking forward to this now they're actually going a step further and I really appreciate this. They're going to be implementing new drop tables specifically designed around the named NPCs that you're going to be able to take on in the game. Now, each of these named NPCs will have an increased chance to grant a specific type of high-end item. So, for example, you may eventually discover that NPC Bravo, we'll call him McGrady in this case, is sort of the go-to guy for dropping electronics-based gear. And then maybe NPC Charlie is the go-to guy for dropping firearms based gear and so on and so forth. You'll now have a reason to hunt down and kill these individual named NPCs to help you further obtain the gear you need for your specific build. And of course, Asian builds are a very important part of the division. They're one of the most bold steps that Massive and Ubisoft took by not forcing us into restricted character classes. We can adapt and change our builds on the fly. We just have to have the gear. We just need to have the equipment to do so. And right now, that is a huge chore. You're just farming Phoenix credits, trying to get that blueprint that you want. It's incredibly frustrating. It takes a ridiculous amount of time, and it strips away from a lot of the enjoyment of building those different agents and really being able to have fun messing around with the agent build system, the different abilities, the talents, and so on and so forth. Now, it's going to be a much more clear path. There's a bit of focus as to who and what you should be focusing on killing in order to help maybe build your perfect CC build or your perfect tank build. Really looking forward to these changes, guys. 
everything they're doing with 1.1 just seems even more fantastic with this update. I really cannot wait to get my hands on it. Now, there's one other thing I want to talk about, and that is that we have an official set of details for the gear sets. You know, we had a rough idea of what the gear sets were going to be focused on, but we were not made aware of their set bonuses and talents. So that's what I want to talk about today. Ubisoft gave us a nice little infographic thing here, breaking down each of the four gear sets. So let's start on the left side with the Strikers Battle Gear, which is the more DPS damage-based gear set, as you can tell from the bonuses. Set bonus of two. What a set bonus is, is how many pieces of gear you need to be wearing in order to gain that bonus. So set bonus for two pieces of gear is 20% enemy armor damage. Set bonus three is 100% critical hit damage. Damn. Set bonus four is the talent shooter. Every consecutive hit deals 1% more damage. Stacks up to 100%. Missing shots drops bonus by 2%. Bonus is reduced by 1% every second. That's going to be a pretty intense set of gear. I know my brother's going to be looking forward to picking that one up. Moving on forward, we have the Path of the Nomad, which is the Dark Zone-focused gear set. Set bonus 2 is 50% scavenging. 50%. Set bonus 3 is 20% health on kill. And set bonus 4 is the Talent Nomad. When receiving fatal damage, you are instead healed to full health. Can occur once every 10 minutes. No doubt, that's going to be one hell of a solo gear set for the Dark Zone. Very much looking forward to getting my hands on that one. Moving over, we have what is most likely going to be my primary focus once I start looking to obtain gear sets. That is the Tactician's Authority. Set bonus 2, plus 4,000 skill power. Set bonus 3, plus 20% skill haste. And set bonus 4, the talent Tactician's Authority. Every 60k damage your group deals adds 1% skill power to you for a max of 100% bonus. The bonus is reduced by 1% every second the group isn't dealing damage. I just cannot wait to run this gear set with something like my Saboteur build. Going to be wicked awesome. Moving to the right, we've got the, essentially the Marksman's build. The Sentry's Call. Set bonus 2. Plus 30% headshot damage. Can you say boom headshot? Boom headshot. Set bonus 3. Plus 20% damage to elites. And set bonus 4. The Talent Stalker. Headshots mark the enemy. Increase the damage inflicted on the target by 15% for a duration of 10 seconds each. A target can receive up to three marks. Boom headshot indeed, my friends. Boom headshot indeed. All of us, I imagine, are very excited to get our hands on these gear sets. But what I'd like to know from you guys is which gear set you are looking forward to obtaining first. Which one is going to fit into your current build and the one that you'll be hunting down as soon as 1.1 goes live. If you have any other thoughts, questions, or concerns regarding the stuff we talked about in this video, feel free to throw it down in the comments section below. Can't wait to see you guys in 1.1. As always, stay safe out there, agents, and I'll see you in the next one.